Hello everyone, this is uh, Rudolph Wilkins with Forgotten Fitness and I wanted to show you one of my favorite tools to train my hand, wrist, and forearms that's not a barbell and dumbbell and not totally arm wrestling specific. This is a 2x4 which I have been using to help strengthen my fingers, wrist, and forearm in this sort of static position here uh, to transfer into arm wrestling but I've also seen help, uh, the assistance of this in my curl and my deadlift. So this has been a huge help to any exercise that requires pulling with the fingers. So all this is here is a two by four with a hole drilled through the center, an eye bolt run through the hole, two washers and two nuts, and the corners and ends rounded off and smoothed so you have a nice place to put your hand. I've actually learned about this uh, and known about it for a little while now, but I learned about it from a gentleman named Marcio Barbosa. I'll post a picture of him up here. He's a professional arm wrestler, and this is a really cool tool that he actually designed. He used a 2x6, but I'm using a 2x4. Um, it doesn't really matter. It's the thickness you're looking for and the ability that it's flat to help keep your fingers flat for that flat static strength. But this is a really interesting uh, tool that doesn't take much time to build. You can hook it up to any cable stack or pulley station. I'm just gonna be using my arm wrestling table here. And anybody can see the benefit of this in whatever they're doing, um, especially with upper body movements or exercises that require very strong fingers. So I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways to use it. I hope you all enjoy. I now have the two by four on my cable station here. The first exercise is gonna be a static pull. So I say static pull because the hands will be static, sort of in this right angle shape here with the two by four in the center. And it will be this partial row motion, trying to flex and keep the fingers secured around the two by four. And the idea is you don't want your fingers or hands to open up. You wanna keep everything tucked in a little bit. And in arm wrestling, we call it cupping. But the idea is you wanna keep the wrist just a little bit flexed inwards, sort of like this. And you will do this like partial row to your body. This tight range of motion here, keeping the fingers flat and straining the forearms and hands. And you can go as heavy as you need. This is very lightweight here now, but I like to keep my reps pretty high with this because of I'm training my forearms. So I'll keep the reps 20 to 25 reps, sometimes even more with fairly heavy weight, just enough that as I'm descending, I can feel the hands start to buckle. So I'm fighting against it to keep it secure. The next exercise, which is actually my favorite, is quite a bit different. Instead of allowing the two by four to sit or the fingers to sit on the entirety of the two by four, we're just going to place the tips of the fingers on the two by four. This will require much less weight, but now what we are doing is this motion here. You're essentially closing the hand with the two by four on the tips of the fingers, just working those flexor muscles in the fingers. So same sort of setup, except now you can see I'm just holding it by the fingers and I'm flexing the fingers. You normally don't need as much weight for this. And you can see the actual rowing portion is a lot less. I'm still using it a little to get momentum and whatnot, but primarily you wanna work on keeping the hand flat and flexing, keeping the hand flat and flexing just through the tips of the fingers to help strengthen uh, the flexor muscles on the underside of the forearm. Those are two variations. Um, there's plenty more you can do. Uh, you can also put your hands over the top of this, sort of like this. Um, and same thing, this kind of motion here, kind of cupping in just ever so slightly. This sort of curl in motion here, working on a wrist curl. But there's tons of things you can do with this. It's an extremely cheap and affordable piece of equipment to make. Uh, and one that I think if you don't have it, I would highly suggest everybody make it. It can be made for just a few bucks and is super utilitarian. It has a lot of different uses and is a fantastic tool for anybody that wants to develop a strong hand and wrist for grip, for grip work and uh, grip exercises. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this, or if you're interested in seeing some of my other tools for grip work, 
Um, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. But until next time, this is Forgotten Fitness, signing out. Bye-bye.